So hi guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a long time since saying that. I do apologise, but I just been so busy with work and everything that I just haven't had time to upload and I haven't been too well, but I I'm trying to get back into it. FIFA twenty one's out soon. I do apologise, I didn't finish the Ipswich Town career mode, but I do have a forfeit, which if I can find in these bags, I'm not I'm gonna make it as a separate video. But we have got Bean Boozled Flaming Five Edition and then the Bean Boozled American Edition. If we can get this up to a certain amount of likes, I'll be doing it. Uh, there might be a FIFA pack opening as well, and I will make another Ipswich Town career mode on FIFA 21 where we will win the Champions League. I will maybe try to do like how it ended and how or like what the team was like so we can compare to next FIFA. But let's get into this tasting American snacks. We have to thank the Premier Variety Box, which will be in the description down below. Please, 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 please. Go and give them a follow because without them, like I say every time, I wouldn't be able to do these videos. So, um, we're going to start off with these crisps here. And these crisps here are wrap snacks. And it's Notorious B.I.G. Barbecue Sauce. Hmm. Surprisingly, doesn't actually smell that much of barbecue. Now, there is a lot of flavouring on this thing. And I mean a lot. Let's have a go at this. Oh my goodness. First of all, I thought the crisp was going to be hard, but... They are very soft, right? They're so nice. Like, the amount of barbecue on this is unbelievable. I'd rate these, the barbecue crisps, better than the... I think it's Lay's. Because, oh, it is Walker's, but it's Lay's. Lay's barbecue is worse than these barbecue. These barbecue... I'd eat. I'm gonna eat the rest of this packet, so I'm gonna leave that over there. That was, I'd say, a nine out of ten. I'm sorry, I, I keep going down like to there because that's where I put all the food. So next thing is Gatorade Cool Blue. I'm probably gonna use this as a drink for the episode, but. I'm trying to see what's in it. Ah. As I read it, cold blue raspberry, I can see that where it's coming from. But if I didn't know, without looking at the ingredients, I wouldn't be able to tell you what flavour that was. But, as it's blue, you know it's probably going to be quite nice and um, sugary and stuff like that. But that is nice. I will probably use that for the drinks this episode. I've got another Gatorade, which is Ice Frost, I think. But we'll have that near the, the end. Next thing up, Kit Kat Apple Pie Edition. Now, with Kit Kats, I do want to try to get the Japanese ones. Because they do have so many different flavors so if you'd like to see that please leave it in the comment section and please please leave a like and share and everything else i do apologize for the loyal subscribers who have stayed around even though i have been all over the place i will be planning to do another charity live stream i don't know when maybe the end of october if not near christmas but let's get into the apple thing. Uh, I do apologise that it has snapped it off. Mm. 
Oh my god. Ow. I do think I have my like wisdom tooth coming through as well, so I need to try a chew on this side. I feel like that apple pie. Would be better with dark chocolate. But I'd rate that still like a 6 out of 10. And talking about dark chocolate, they've had these in there for a little while, but I've just never got around to getting them. And it is Nantucket cookies. Now, let's have a look. He's sort of opened like the goldfish snacks what we've had on here before. Let's try to open it. Oh, okay, this looks very different. So that's what it looks like. Just your normal cookie. It is hard. I'm sorry about my hair, like, I just needed to make sure that I've recorded this video. Okay. They are nice. I would like to try the other flavours of them. But they do sort of, like, in England, we have Marylands, which are sort of similar to this. We do have quite a lot to go through this episode, so I'm not <laughs> expect quite a lot of air so. so next thing is bugles. We have these in England, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember what company they makes them. I think it might be Walkers, but it says here America's first finger hat. So let's see if it can fit on my finger. Probably not. No. I'm pretty sure in the UK, these you can get cheese and barbecue flavoured ones. But these, all right. All right. That's how I'm trying to get in. See, it's quite a bit packing, I see, but that over. And that's how much you get. So for your money, that is quite a good size packet of crisps. I, I'm quite bored of like normal, just salted flavoured things. So I'd still rate these a five. I wouldn't be annoyed if someone gave me a salted packet of crisps, but there is other flavours as well. Caramel, That now that does sound nice. Might be weird, but I feel like it does. It does sound nice. <sighs> Yet again, the Lucasade. Lucasade Gatorade. <clears throat> Next thing, we are going to go through the three Hershey flavours. I'm pretty. I don't know if I've done these ones on a fire trial before. We've got strawberries and cream. Uh. Cook, sprinkles and cream and cookie and mint. <clears throat> oh. Here we go. So that's strawberry and cream. That one is a solid 9 out of 10 for a chocolate bar. Um, it literally just tastes like strawberry ice cream. Now mint and cookies are mint. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> now, do I think that's better than the strawberry one? Mm. I think the strawberry one's still better at the moment. You cook mint and cookies and mint, I'd still rate a solid like eight and a half, but. Come on. I think this one's probably going to be the worst one out of them all. The straw, strawberry sprinkle and cream. Come on. Thank you. That's what it looks like. You can see the sprinkles in the back. Yeah, um, it just tastes like normal white chocolate. I'm running out of my Gatorade. But, Hershey's was good. Um, <clears throat> oh my goodness, you've still got so much more to go through. Next one. I don't know how I'm going to say this is on camera, but it is wrap snacks, maple barbecue flavour, but you can see what the flavour is. Maple barbecue, let's have a go. Hmm. These remind me if you're from England you'll know McCoy's the steak ones. They are good as well, which I'm gonna keep for later. They are solid uh eight and a half out of ten. Next thing, we have got wrap crisps again, Lil Boozy, Louisiana Heat. Oh my goodness, just look at the size of that crisp. If I get it correctly, it's bigger than my head, but you know, it's just because I put it closer to the camera. Let's have a try this. They're good as well. Um, a little bit of a tingle. This Gatorade's gone now. <clears throat> a little bit of a tingle. But, I still rate these ones a 7.5 out of 10. I leave them over that side. you still got more. Don't worry. Don't go away. Because we've still got more coming up. I'm just going to throw it all on the table and then I can put the other ones back in to the bag. I'm sorry that I'm doing it live on video but it's just so I don't have to do as much tidying up after. There. So we have got I'll do them last because I feel like they might be hot. But we've got Warheads Cubes. Ugh. I'm pretty sure you can, people have probably seen these before, but I wanted to try them. Let's have a go. That's, one of the, that's the watermelon one, I'm pretty sure. It just reminds me of fruit pastels. But a bit sour. Or a little bit sour. These are right, a solid 
8 out of 10. We have got four more, five more things left. So let's go get through these. I know one of these last, I'm going to try them. Um, Slim Jim Fire Fries flavoured barbecue fury flavour. Let's have a look at this. Oh my goodness, the smell. But it looks like a little chip. Now, considering they've got fire fury and everything on there, I'd like to try the other ones, Inferno, even though they're probably going to blow my head off. But I'd still rate them a solid 8 out of 10. It's like maybe like spicy knickknacks they sort of remind me of. I apologise to... Who lives in my uh, the family who lives in my house because there's just snacks all over the place at the moment, but you know they get to try them as well. Um, next thing up, wrap snacks again, and it's Cardi B jerk barbecue. It is on a ridge crisp. I wish these. Wrap snacks did more flavours than just barbecue at the moment. But then barbecue ones, two taste nice. These, I'd say second best of the video so far. Cardi B doing Cardi B things. Um, where else have we got? We've got. Let's try this next. We've got the Gatorade Frost Glacier Cherry. I'm guessing it was meant to be in the fridge, but I haven't had it in the fridge. Wow. This is a 10 out of 10. That cherry, oh my goodness. It's just like I went out onto a tree, picked a cherry and just ate it. That was unbelievable. I might have to come in and get some more of them. Next is Nerds Rope Rainbow Edition. Let's try to get a little bit off. That's what it looks like. Nerds Ropes. Can you really go wrong? No, you can't. <clears throat> I'll give these, not these, the nerds are right, a solid 8 out of 10. And then the last thing to try in the video is fudge strips. Oh, these are, look at them, little mini, like party ring sort of thing. I'd like to say if there's any more flavour than these as well. Because these cookies are really good. 9 out of 10 would be really good. So, that's all the things done for this episode. Like I said, pause if you want to see the flavours of these. And I will be doing it in the next episode or next video. And leave in the comments who you want in my family. So you've got Harry and my mum. Who do you want to see do what packet? Because they will do it. I'll make sure they do it. Even though it's going to be the forfeit mainly on me. Because I'll probably end up having all of the flavours at once of these. And all of the flavours at once of these. But please, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Go follow the Premier Variety Box in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next episode. Where there's possibly going to be me.